Voy a tratar de hablar I, I will try to speak slowly for the benefit of the interpreters. Good morning, everyone who has joined us in this event, which we normally organize together with LATNIC. Before starting, I hope you're all safe at home with your beloved uh, family and with good health. Back in 2010, there were 300 participants who got together at the first face-to-face -face meeting in Sao Paulo, Brazil. LACNOG today is celebrating its first 10 years of life in its community. Unfortunately, on this occasion, and for reasons that are quite obvious, we haven't been able to have a face-to-face -face meeting as would be normally the case. But thanks to the enormous effort of a lot of people, we are still have the opportunity of having this meeting today. On behalf of the entire board, I'd like to thank LACNIC, represented through Warner Meyer, its chair. I'd like to thank the sponsors and all the other organizations that make this event possible. LACNOC works day to day with clear objectives, reaffirming the commitment to the internet community of Latin America and the Caribbean. That is why it is very important to be an active part in the development of this event, as well as of all the other activities that we will be having this week. Last year, LACNOC enhanced its presence in the social media and events. In the past month, our organization organized a series of webinars for the community. We reinforce many relevant concepts for all operators. These webinars are mostly addressed at topics related to security and resilience of the internet network. And in case you haven't seen these, you can find these in the YouTube backlog channels and in the web Facebook website. Everything related to training activities is available in our website where we can view the calendar of webinars. The URL is eventons.nog.land. In the past month, we also redesigned our website and this provides a lot of information and services to the community. This website will be available as from today in our traditional uh, website, lacnoc.org. You will also find interesting discussions in our mailing list. Today, we have more than 1,200 subscribers and network operators. If you still are not included in the list, we invite you to do so. This is a service totally free of charge and is open to anyone who wishes to participate. In contrast with our first event 10 years ago, during this week, we hope to have more than 1,400 participants from all over the world. We encourage them to make this event their event. We ask them to participate, to collaborate, and to enjoy the networking, which normally was done in the lobbies, although this time we will have virtual networking. And to close, I would like to thank our program committee, which has worked intensively to set up the agenda of the LACNOC event. This agenda is full of discussions and tutorials on relevant technologies and cutting edge um, events and technologies of things that you encounter every day. An important part of the program committee would not have possible without the entire support of LACNIC staff represented here by Oscar Robles. To all of them, our most sincere thanks. Finally, I would like to close thanking our manager and the group of volunteers who have worked tirelessly in the preparation of several activities in the website and many more things that we'll be announcing in the course of the week. These are Carmen Dennis, Jessica Cáceres, Adriana Ching Sanchez, Mayra Hernández Segovia, and Arturo Dennis. All of them collaborate with LACNO to the CMT, which is the Center for Women and Technology for the Development of the Internet. Finally, let me remind you that due to the exhaustion of the IPv4 pool in the LACNIC region and in our community, we really have to start 
taking seriously the deployment of IPv6. That is why we're facing major challenges now as a community in order to continue making the internet an open, secure, and neutral network. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome you all to the LACNOC 2020 event, LACNIC 34, and thank you very much. Thank you, Adiel, for your words. I'd like to invite Wagner Meyer now, Chairman of LACNIC's board, to address you. Welcome, Wagner. Dear friend Ariel, dear friends, friends of the LACNIC community, I'm going to speak in Portuguese because today we have simultaneous interpretation into three languages. And this is one of the good news introduced by this type of online event that we are holding now for the first time this year. I would like to welcome everyone to this event that we are holding today. This event that has a special brand because it is being organized jointly with our friends at LACNOG. And this is a very special occasion because LACNOG is celebrating its 10th anniversary. This pandemic prevented us temporarily from our warm face-to-face -face meetings, but this didn't prevent us from having this flame uh, on of the essence of our events because we constantly promote space to promote the exchange and synergy of the different stakeholders that together make up the internet ecosystem. As Ariel mentioned, we'll have a very active week with many tutorials, with an interesting agenda, technical presentations, panel that will count under participation of many specialists. Now, Right after this opening, we'll have two major events. One is a Lifetime Achievement Award, which is a traditional initiative at LACNIC that has the purpose of distinguishing people that as a result of their contributions, major contributions, lead to the development of the internet in our region. And right after that, we will have a brief break. And right after that, a panel with Mrs. Malik Kuti, who will be giving us a presentation on the importance of measurement and traffic estimations for the architecture, development, and security of the network. And we will not stop there. Right through to the end of the event, we'll have many important activities, such as the panel on LACNOG's 10th anniversary, the panel on the FRIDA Awards, and 14 technical presentations, as well as six tutorials. Today, we'll have a session of the Public Policy Forum where we will have intensive discussions that are one of the features of this forum. The community is constantly seeking to improve its processes and mechanisms to build policies that are in line with the common interest of all the stakeholders of the internet ecosystem in our region. And speaking about policies and resource distribution, it is important to mention, mention certain, recent, certain recent events, such as the activation of the transfers of the interior number resources, which took place a couple of months ago, the final exhaustion of the IPv4 resources, which took place on August 19. And as from that date, LACNIC continues recovering the IPv4 addresses, and these will be assigned in accordance with the policies enforced as developed by the community. We were all aware that the day of the final exhaustion of IPv4 would arrive, and now that day is here. It is impossible to be here at a LACNIC event and not remember that urgent need of implementing IPv6. It is in that sense that I would like to 
really between all the stakeholders and mostly the access providers, whether large, medium or small providers, to really include IPv6 implementation more than ever as an absolute priority for 2020 and 2021. This event has quite an interesting new feature, and this is a virtual trade fair. In that trade fair, you will be able to interact with our sponsors as if it were live. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank them for the ongoing support. Without this support, it would be impossible to hold this event. On behalf of LACNIC Board, I would like to also thank not only our sponsors, but also our staff, because despite all the difficulties of the current time, they really have made utmost efforts to really make this event a reality. And we're now enjoying this event. And while we're holding this event, they are at the same time considering the future event. And for this event, the staff thought of every single detail, even promoting a social event. Yes, we're going to have our The Rock Night. This will be a moment where we'll be able to listen to good music and in good company. And to finish, I would like to use a Portuguese word, which, as far as I'm aware, cannot be translated into English or into Spanish. And this word is saudades. Saudades is a feeling of nostalgia caused, caused by the absence of something, the absence of a person, uh, of a place, and the wish to relive experiences, situations, or moments that are in the past. I, I admit that we all feel so dodges of our very warm face-to-face -face meetings. And I trust that these virtual events will maintain that spirit alive, this spirit that we have built over the past years at LACNIC. It is quite true. When we return to our face-to-face -face eating meetings, we will be strengthened, and I hope this will take place soon. And this will be in Veracruz, Mexico. I hope you all enjoy these opportunities of learning, of participating, and networking that we will have this week. Welcome, everyone, to LACNIC 34, LACNOG. 2020. Thank you very much.